All right, warriors. <laughs> Do your breathing exercise. Five seconds. Regiment yourself. Get that core. Get, get used to you regimenting that core. And you'll know when, when you're getting a grip on it. Because you'll be able to be a part of a conversation. And what used to trigger you now gives you a smile. You ever notice that about confident people? They just aren't reactive. They respond. As if to say, <laughs> I see right through you. Everyone else misses it. Now you find yourself a part of a possibly an elite group of people who speak a different language. It's an agape language that has no borders. Because let me tell you, a, 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 a truly narcissistic experience, had you be one of those that grew up in the insane asylum, or like me, fuck, you met your first narcissist sociopath in the womb. You just, it, it, it's why I have a, a certain understanding about it and be, and be able to explain it in a way where you understand, okay, fuck, you can't make this shit up. You see, we all have our Cain in the family. We all have the Jezebel, the succubus. We all have relatives, even, at different levels of psychopathy that we can now identify with. Have this understanding and knowing what I mean by evenly yoked in your understanding. Because it's not solely spiritual, it's not solely religious, it's not solely faith-driven, having a moral compass. It's about living it, understanding it, defending yourself. Know when to hold them, know when to fold, know when to run. You see, warriors, you're going to operate differently now. And you're going to have to enrich yourself with newer understandings as we as a society evolve. Because look, check this out. Now you have predators that are cyber bullies, uh, cyber uh, romance cons, right? Uh, and you also have predators, direct physical predators that use all these dating apps, these get to know you, and everyone's selling you on well, this is the only way the, the only way people meet each other. Really? Okay. But understand, with this knowledge, this awareness comes a certain level of responsibility. You understand that more than anyone. You see, what I need you to understand is your polar opposite understands this clearly, what you know, but exercises it in the spirit of selfishness, greed, jealousy, envy, and to perpetrate hurt on others who made different decisions. They were harder decisions, sacrificial decisions, and they chose an easier path. And they're trying to sell everyone on they made the better choice. Always. Whether they're monkey jumping to another relationship, repeating their own loop, they're always going to go overboard in trying to prove they made the right decision as if people who've left them give a shit anymore. This is their vicious loop. This is a circle jerk that they, that they live in. What they want to sell you on and, and what they're trying to find out here, the blind squirrel finding the nut, is they're hoping to find someone just naive enough to believe that they have to pay for the boyfriend-girlfriend experience and it's only available so as long as you provide that resource, whatever it might be, that this relationship is understood to be built on. It's not reciprocal. It's with an understanding that one is a prize, one is the celebrity, and the other is the peasant or the fan. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it don't take me much convincing 
to understand that if anyone feels threatened in any kind of way with regard to having conversations of virtue, loyalty, experiences, and bringing them into the fold where they can hear of it behind your back. Truths that you never even spoke, that they now hear from others, just gives more credence and validity into them knowing they made a better, bestest decision being a friend to you. You see, you don't have to chase. Narcissists envy you for this. Just being you exposes the very lie that they live. And all you have to do is be you. Live in truth. Don't go lying for anybody. And they'll go acting like just because you were in the audience that you participated in any kind of lie. You will buy out of it gracefully, but you will also verbalize it. It's crazy. Uh, because they say misery loves company. It does. This awareness with narcissism coming into your vocabulary, just like it did with rich people and poor people alike, and anyone in between from different parts in the world, and I've spoken to many of you, we all conclude with the same thing. Narcissism, that, that, that's a problem. That's an issue on all levels. We all got this much in common in this journey, this knowledge, this awareness. And it came at a price unlike no other. You come out of this with mixed feelings. I, know, I understand. Mixed feelings. It, it, it's a blessing, but a curse. I'm so glad I know this. Damn it, I wish I didn't know it. But I got to deal with it now. That's the reality. These people are going to keep fishing you. They're going to keep hunting for you. They can't help but play peekaboo because it's a fantasy they're playing in their head. When you've let them go, you don't even want to... Put it this way. I want you to understand the power of your voice. Stop what the fuck you're doing. Look at me. The power of your voice... And the power of your presence alone, it's like many, it's like it parts the room. Everyone understands they're vying for number two. That's what it is to be true in your authentic self, confidently. You know, you can be so damn confident that even when you're wrong and it's proven you're wrong, you can go and hug the person that spoke up and corrected you out of love and speak your truth again. Because that's how confident you are. You get more excited out of being wrong than someone caring enough to straighten that out for you in a loving way. How badass is this is, is that? Look, for the week, of course they're going to look at that as, <laughs> they don't understand. With knowledge comes power. You see, we don't speak our truth to try and convince narcissists of the truth. We speak our truth so that others that are aware understand they're not alone. This is our war cry to each other. This is how we communicate. This is how our voice is heard across borders, different languages. And we can share in body language, we can share many different ways of expression. Look, I have one. Like, I, I don't know if you guys know this. Hell, it's probably technology has been available for a long time. I'm just now coming hip to it. And that is that you can talk. Where you send a text message, you, you can hit a button that looks like a microphone and talk, and it records your message in your voice, and then you can hang up and send it. And so I was like, oh, hell yeah, this is cool shit. So I'm, I'm recording the girls in the office. I said, and she was going over some things. And so, and I said, look, 
I have some information I want to uh, roll with y'all, and uh, I think it would sound pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know if it would be something that uh, you know people that that are like if they're on Ig or Talk Talk or Twitter or you know what I'm saying these platforms. And so then I hung up. Man, it wasn't no sooner than they all all of them call me up. They're all on the phone at the same time through the computer. We can see each other. And they're going, Chico, what's an egg? I said, you know, I said it, it's uh one of them things that they it's like a talk talk, like a like a twatter. And they're laughing. They said, what is an egg? It's an Instagramit. The Instagramit. The, my, I said, look, my neighbor's got one. And it, it's just... Like, I don't know. It's an egg. He's got an egg. He asked me if I had an egg. And I said, oh, man, I ain't got no egg. <laughs> so, once they stopped laughing... Now they understand. So moving on to the next order of business, this is how I hold, how I hold my meetings. I also had to educate them that when they come to Texas, that they understand that in Texas, everything is Coke. I'm drinking my Coke. But when you go through the drive-thru in Texas, it don't matter which one, or any restaurant, and you say, I want a Coke, you're going to be asked what flavor. Like I'm drinking Coke. Flavor is great. Great Coke. Another golden nugget for you, Warriors. <laughs> In the meantime, be watchful for Pookie, Ray Ray, Shaniqua, Shanane. They out there, them romance cyber bullies. Looking for opportunity, looking for thirsty people. And uh, all they got to do is wave that fake bait. Waiting for the next opportunity. But, and look, don't you think for a minute they don't know fresh meat when they see it on them dating apps. Because they're all in the same apps. I know, I've, I've talked to a bunch of people. And they recognize each other from different dating apps. And they'll know like when they're in a relationship and when they come in out of one. Because they'll disappear and then reappear. Disappear and then reappear. But none of the times do they ever appear with anyone ever being in a relationship hugging up with anybody. That just seems like they've been single since forever. And they never the problem. <laughs> oh yeah. And be aware of this. If you're doing the background checks, it's going to give you a summary of Facebook profiles and, and the, the, the Twitters and the, the, the egg, the talk talks, the, all of those, all, all, even the dating, the dating apps and previous emails. It'll give you a, a summary of those. Most of the great, greatest background checks that I, I, I can recommend to you, it's like truthfinder.com is one of them. I don't know what the other ones are, but y'all share them with each other. Uh, but they'll give you those. If all of a sudden you go looking for those sites and they give you the links and they don't exist anymore, that someone's trying to erase their past quickly. Should be a red flag. Something to look for. The devil's in the details, y'all. We got to keep it silly, but we got to keep it real. And remember, there's grape Coke. There's orange Coke, pineapple Coke, apple Coke. And the difference between all these Cokes is that it's got the bub the bubblies, the fuzzies, like soda water. Coke. You know, Coke. <laughs> all right, I know we connect them. We got it like that. Because for us, it's a win-win, yo. For us, we operate from a point of it's a win-win every time against narcissists. Because look, with every connection, now we operate this way. Toxic, not toxic. Toxic, not toxic. Friendly, foe. Friendly, foe. You see how all of a sudden, with that change in mindset, occasionally, yeah, you're going to have doubts. 
you're gonna make a couple of food bar decisions occasionally, but ain't nothing you can't get out of. And it becomes another lesson learned, but one you knew better, for sure. And with time comes experience. And after a while, you ain't gotta prove shit to nobody. Dang it, man. Cause you're gonna be on solid ground. You're gonna have it like that. And people are just gonna look at you like, man, you're pretty slick, man. Wish I had it like that. You see, you can taste it. You've been there before. Narcissists can't stand it. Ain't nothing gonna hold you down. I had a dream that I was, it was surreal at the time, but I was like, man, what is it that I should have learned out of this? And sometimes a lesson isn't for you so much. For you, it, the obvious, ignoring your gut feeling, ignoring the obvious, making it excusable. And, and, and lying to yourself and not, not seeing the truth for what it is, right? But in that dream, I dreamt that one of the narcissists I was with was in the, I was, it was like I was looking downward and they were getting a tarot reading, no doubt. Freaky, right? And I'm looking down and this woman is telling her, she's slapping cards down, she just puts her hand on it and says, your soulmate will have dark tan skin have an international look with long hair. And it was like I was turning to see because I wanted to see this person's face. I was like, who is this? Who, what the? Because I'm trying to figure out the silhouette, right? And before I could do that, then I got so pissed, I went, and I saw her hair move. So I couldn't see her face. I don't know which one it could have been. And who knows, it could have been a trail of tears that I, you know, because I mean, look, don't think for a minute we're all perfect. We, we were somebody's lesson, fool. Come on now. You ain't got it like that. We, mm -mm. No, there, there's some shoulda, coulda, wouldas out there, I'm sure. In my path, I'm glad. I don't remember them like that, so maybe, I, maybe I'm lucky. Who knows? <laughs> but we all learn a lesson, right? And the lesson in that dream for me was, sometimes the lesson wasn't for you so much. Because look, it's gotta be rough to understand that you led yourself to believe that you were better off without someone than with someone that was everything. That's the life lived by narcissists. That's the majority of them. Not, not all of them. Don't, don't paint a picture and, and find excuse for some celebrity incident, right? You're trying to show the exception, not the rule. Let's live in reality. The thirst and need for more attention is going to be ever more powerful than ever. The hoover, the sleight of hands, the presentation, the desire, the, the proving of trust, being expedited quickly, the the the, the clusterfuck of narcissists wanting to close a deal on romance. So, so you on forever after, ride or die. And then just go nasty later. But they're going to save it in no short order. When it's advantageous to them, understand. Narcissists are quicker to adapt. It's an animal instinct that they trust. It's why they're triggered so easily. 
Oh shit, you think you're triggered? In the narcissist's mind, in their world, everybody's just like them. Everybody. Just like you thought everybody's like you. <laughs> Hell yeah, they're gonna hoover you. They want more of that yum yum. If you ain't careful, they're gonna get your egg, your talk talk, and your twatter. Your egg. Egg. IG. IG. Look, I still don't know how to read cartoon. The uh, uh, emo emoji that y'all be typing this shit in the remarks. I have no clue what the hell that says. If y'all be so kind to put the words, I might, I might consider remarking back. I, but <laughs> I just don't read cartoon. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. All right, y'all, get your asses out there and own it. Thanks for taking this badass walk on the beach and do your breathing exercise. Come on now, and uh, let's not let's not get off on the wrong foot of this shit. Help a brother out. Subscribe. Okay, click that button. Uh, and if you're interested in supporting this this channel, much appreciated. You can hit there, there's more stuff you can hit down there to donate directly or on PayPal. Uh, if you look at the link below, if you want to hook up on some coaching, I got your back. We'll get through this shit. Just send an email to the girls in the office. Uh, you'll, you'll see the, the detail link below. And for whatever reason, your curse, I'm on LinkedIn also. <laughs> I want to sound all professional and shit. All right, y'all get out there. And remember, don't forget to get your grape coke. The Master Warriors. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna skydive. <laughs> Leap of it. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're gonna All be right. falling at. A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling at 100, 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay. Are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What right. made you want to skydive? What, what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear. Head on. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. What's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
You know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. <laughs> have to do it again. All right, when are you going to get your license now?